Hey guys, today I want to present a solution for the Japan Math Olympiad 2022 problem 4. At first, let's have a look on the problem statement. We are asked to find all pairs of positive integers x, y such that the following equation holds, namely 3 to the power of x minus 8 to the power of y should be equal to 2 times x, y plus 1. At first, when we see this equation, we might guess that for x and y large enough, the left hand side should be larger than the right hand side because on the left hand side we have powers and on the right hand side we only have linear terms. But it could be possible that a power of 3 is almost equal to a power of 8 and then the left hand side is also small and therefore we cannot directly bound by size. Maybe one approach is that we try to factor the left hand side if both x and y are even then we can factor the left hand side and therefore at first we try to consider the case where one of these two variables are not even and try to get a contradiction out of this. So our first case is that y is equal to 2k plus 1 which means that y is odd. Now we get that 8 to the power of y is equal to 8 to the power of 2 all to the power of k times a and now we get that 8 to the power of 2 is congruent to 1 modulo 3 and a is congruent to 2 mod 3 and therefore this is congruent to 2 mod 3. Now we can write 2 times x times y equals to the left hand side 3 to the power of x minus a to the power of y and now also a minus 1 and we see that since x is a positive integer this is congruent to 0 modulo 3 this is congruent to 2 modulo 3 and this is congruent to 1 modulo 3 so we conclude that this is congruent to 0. This means that 3 must divide x or y. So we have two subcases from our first case and the first subcase is that 3 divides x. This implies that x is equal to 3 times a, where a is a natural number. Therefore, we can take this equation here and write that 1 plus 2xy is equal to 3 to the power of x, which is equal to 3 to the power of 3a minus 8 to the power of y. But now a is nothing but 2 to the power of 3, so we can write this as 3 to the power of a all to the power of 3 minus 2 to the power of y all to the power of 3. Now we can factor this, namely this is equal to 3 to the power of a minus 2 to the power of y all multiplied with 3 to the power of 2a plus 3 to the power of a, 2 to the power of y plus 2 to the power of 2y. Now this is really nice because we handled to factor this term here and we also have a second factor here which only consists of positive terms. Moreover, we have that 3 to the power of a minus 2 to the power of y must be positive since our product here is positive and also our second factor here is positive. Therefore we can bound this term by 1 and get that this is greater than or equal to 3 to the power of 2a plus 3 to the power of a times 2 to the power of y plus 2 to the power of 2y. Clearly this is much larger than the left hand side but we still bring this to a contradiction. So we can say that this is strictly greater than 3 to the power of a times 2 to the power of y and we can bound 3 to the power of 2a plus 2 to the power of 2y just by 1. Now we get that 3 to the power of a is greater than or equal to 3 times a if a is equal to 1, we see that this holds because 
3 is greater than 3 and for all a greater than 1 we can do an easy induction to show that this inequality is true. In the same way we can also show that 2 to the power of y is greater than or equal to 2 times y. Therefore we can bound this term here by 3 times a times 2 times y plus 1 and this is now equal to 6 times a y plus 1 but we know that x is equal to 3 times a so this is equal to 2 times x y plus 1. All in all we have that 1 plus 2 x y is greater than 2 x y plus 1 and this is clearly a contradiction. We already figured out that the case that 3 divide x is impossible so 3 cannot divide x and therefore we are in our second subcase namely case 1.2 which says that 3 divides y. Here we want to use this equation and have a look how often 3 divides both of these sides. Therefore we take the free adding evaluation of both sides and write that nu 3 of 2xy is equal to nu 3 of 3 to the power of x minus a to the power of y minus 1 which is a to the power of y plus 1 and here we can bound this right hand side by the free adic evaluation of 3 to the power of x and a to the power of y plus 1 namely this term here is greater than or equal to the minimum of the free adic evaluation of 3 to the power of x or a to the power of y plus 1 so this is greater than or equal to the minimum of nu 3 of 3 to the power of x and nu 3 of 8 to the power of y plus 1. Now we can say that the free adic evaluation of 3 to the power of x is nothing but x and for the free adic evaluation of a to the power of y plus 1 we can now use the LTE lemma. This is possible since we are in the case that y is equal to 2 times k plus 1 which means that y is odd and since 8 plus 1 which is equal to 9 is divisible by 3. Therefore we can write that nu 3 of a to the power of y plus 1 is equal to nu 3 of y plus nu 3 of 8 plus 1 which is equal to 9. Now we have a look back onto our left hand side and we see that since 3 does not divide x we know that this is equal to nu 3 of y. Now we have that nu 3 of y is greater than or equal to the minimum of this and since nu 3 of y plus nu 3 of 9 is definitely greater than nu 3 of y we know that the minimum here must be x. So we know that this is equal to x. Moreover we see that y is obviously greater than or equal to nu 3 of y and therefore we have in total that y is greater than or equal to x. Now if we have a look back on our equation here we get that 2 times xy plus 1 which is equal to 3 to the power of x minus a to the power of y is now less than or equal to 0 since y is greater than or equal to x and 8 is greater than 3. And this is clearly a contradiction. Now we got a contradiction in all our previous subcases and therefore we are now in our second case which is that y is equal to 2 times k. We recall that our first goal was to get both of the exponents to be even and now one part of the goal is reached because we know that y must be even. So now we have two new cases, namely case 2.1, which is that x is odd, so we can write x equals 2a plus 1. In this case we can have a look of the equation modulo 4 and get that 1 is congruent to 2xy plus 1 because we know that y is even 
and 2x y plus 1 is nothing but 3 to the power of x minus a to the power of y. Now this is congruent to 3 to the power of 2 to the power of a times 3 because we know that x is equal to 2 a plus 1 and 8 is congruent to 0 modulo 4. And now we see that 3 to the power of 2 is congruent to 1 mod 4 and therefore this is congruent to 3 mod 4. But here we see that 1 is congruent to 3 mod 4 and this is clearly a contradiction. Therefore we are in our second subcase of the second case, namely that x is equal to 2 times a. Here we can now write 2x y plus 1 equals 3 to the power of 2a minus a to the power of 2k and now we can indeed factor this term here because this is nothing but 3 to the power of a minus a to the power of k multiplied with 3 to the power of a plus a to the power of k. Now we have here again a positive product on the left hand side and a positive factor here. Therefore the second factor must also be positive and so we can bound this factor here by 1 and say that this is greater than or equal to 3 to the power of a plus 8 to the power of k. Intuitively we know that for large a and k the right hand side must be greater than or equal to the left hand side because on the right hand side we have powers and the left hand side is only linear. More precisely we know that 2 times xy plus 1 is equal to 8 times a k plus 1. Now since we know that 3 to the power of a minus a to the power of k is greater than or equal to 1, we can bound k from above by a linear function in terms of a. Therefore we can bound this term here from above by a quadratic function in A. So we know that this term here is less than or equal to a quadratic function in A, but on the other hand this is also greater than or equal the right hand side, and on the right hand side we have 3 to the power of A, which is an exponential function in A. Therefore we can get a contradiction for A is greater than or equal to 4, and therefore we can say that a is less than or equal to 3. In the case a equals 2 we get indeed a solution namely x equals 2 times a which is equal to 4 and y equals to 2. We can see this because 3 to the power of 4 minus a to the power of 2 is equal to 81 minus 64 and this is equal to 17 and on the other hand we get that 2xy plus 1 is equal to 2 times 2 times 4 plus 1 and this is equal to 16 plus 1 which is also equal to 17. Here we see that we have indeed a solution so x equals 4 and y equals 2 is a solution. On the other hand if we have a look on the cases a equals 1 and a equals 3 we see that these two cases are not possible and therefore this is indeed our only solution and we are done. If you wanted to see this bound here that a is less than or equal to 3 in detail and if you want to see the two cases a equals 1 and a equals 3 in detail you can have a look in the solution PDF which you can find in the description of this video or on our website.